Welcome back, 2017 NXL Las Vegas Open. I'm Matty Marshall alongside Nick Sloviak and paintball legend Davey Williamson, former Ironman, excessive dynasty. He's played all over the place, all over the world. Welcome to the boot, Davey. Always great to be here. So, we got a game here. Uh, your former team, San Diego Dynasty, in a huge match against the Russians. And this is a must-win situation right now for Dynasty as they take a, took a loss to Boom earlier today in a really close match. So looking forward to see what they're going to do here. And the Russians, they went one and one yesterday, and they won their first game against Seattle Thunder. So in this bracket, this is a huge match. And also Thunder and Boom going to be playing in this set as well. So, you know, Nick, let's talk about that game with Boom that Dynasty had. What did you think about that? I think Boom is just playing really good people. I think they outplayed Dynasty. I think they, you know, they're shooting on the break. It's easily the, the biggest... Uh, factor in that game right there, and then you know they won some some heads up gunfights. They spread the field really well, and I think they played the middle of the field a lot better than Dynasty. As we're seeing Alex Rodriguez pick up there, one body dropping off the break, one body dropping off the break for the Russians trying to tilt the snake. Alex Rodriguez is up there. Yeah, so Alex Rodriguez now at that center 50. He's looking snake side now. Switches his gun to the D side. There's no one up there with him. So a little bit more conservative breakout here for the Russians, Davey. Yeah, it looked like the Russians tried to just risk the snake, and now they're just going to sit back. But they just lost their corner, guys, so this is going to be big problems for them. Yeah, so one body down for the Russians right now, and don't think Dynasty has lost anybody? No, the Russians are down two bodies. Russians down two bodies. I think Ru Dynasty is full strength right now, so and about to dominate them, I bet. Well, so Alex now is going to switch his gun towards the snake side, and there is the line for the Russians on your screen. Right there, you can see no one in the back corner bunker on the snake side, no one in the snake, and no one in the snake. That, so it's been interesting on this layout. We've had you know, a lot of aggression on that D side, and uh, the snake side's been oh. kind of hit or miss. Not everyone's been pushing this side every single point, so it's kind of a chaotic field layout. Ryan Greenspan with a good fill I out in the back corner bunker. The Russian got by, by A-Rod there, got in the snake. That was a, amazing that he got by him. Now it looks like Kyle Spica is going to get to the insert bunker here. Ooh. Snake side for San Diego Dynasty. And now it looks like Smotrov able to make it into the snake for the oh, Russians. Wow. But Alex Rodriguez getting shot out of that center. Yeah, good shot by Smotrov to take out Alex Rodriguez. With the Russian seat right now to bring bodies back. I don't think Smotrov knows that this is going to happen. Yeah, Smotrov's about to get destroyed by Brandon Short. So that wasn't Spica, it was Brandon Short. And Brandon Short getting shot here. I'm sorry, getting that shot. And now the guns turn to him. Greenspan right behind him. He's going to launch and take out the last player for the Russians, man. And Greenspan just has that. And yeah, so that's a good first point here for San Diego Dynasty. Tyler Harmon alive on that D side. Great job by Brandon Short to get into that snake and, and take down Smotrov. That was a really good combination of moves there. Smotrov got in. How he got by A-Rod, I have no idea. But what happened, what killed the Russians, was well, they didn't see Short get in there. No idea. Let their guy get run down. And Ryan, like you said, knew what to do is get Y on him out there. That was a pretty good, talented team move. Well... I mean, Smotrov, as you see on the replay, is Brandon Short running down Smotrov. But Smotrov is one of those Davies. So with the Russians, uh, past couple seasons, they've really been trying to work on bringing these young Russian guys up. Uh, Zabara, Smotrov, a guy named Polnikov. And, uh, um, so those are the younger star potential stars. Smotrov, I feel, but arguably probably the best out of those guys. Uh, so not surprising. He's, his timing is developing, but he's still, you know how it is when you're coming up, hit or miss. You know, sometimes making it happen, sometimes not. So the first point going to go to San Diego Dynasty here in this important matchup. And now we're getting into this game here. Boom, taking on Thunder. And the story of the tournament, or one of the biggest ones, was the uh, fact that Boom was able to defeat Dynasty in their first matchup. You're going to want to go back and rewatch them that one if you missed it. And there's action going down in the center. It looks like uh, Gomez getting bunkered out. And there's going to be a minor penalty on Boom. Flags are flying all over the place, and bodies walking off in droves. Yeah, so not looking good here for Boom in this first point. And then now making moves here, Mikey Lou in the snake side and not, there's nobody for Boom looking at him. So he was able to get in here as Boom just losing tons of bodies there on those. Uh, looks like it might have been, I'm not sure if that was one minor or two minors, but there was a bunch of flags. A little overzealous on the throwing the flags over and over again. I got to compliment the Thunder. Those jerseys are sick. If you're a Seattle Seahawks fan, that's a really cool jersey. 
Yeah, well, you know, some Raza jerseys right there. But uh, yeah, they're all, I, I like the color combo. I yeah. like the because it pops. You know, some of the jerseys are like uh, the jerseys I hate for this one are a a AC Dallas's jerseys. Black names, black numbers. <laughs> Can't even tell who's who. You're never getting pressed. Yeah, that it's way. all dark. Yeah, it's like, do you want us to give you your just do or not? Because the dude in the black jersey exactly, just did something. It, that's pretty much what it is. Um, what do you think here, Matt? Do you think the Russians look like they risked a the guy to start with the last, the first point, and then kind of sat back? You think they'll try it again? Well, they haven't. They've been going back and forth with that. I, I do like the game plans that the Russians have been calling. The Russians have been when they're winning points and winning games. It's not really the initial game plan. It's the execution of the game plan, which you know, I mean, characteristically, that's what you're going to want anyway. Well, they're up at the wall. They, they shot a guy off the break. It looks like Arod or somebody was trying to make that wall for Dynasty and didn't make it. Yeah, so that, that first one comes off. And they've been they've been putting A-Rod either up in the center 50 off the break or he goes to the stand-up uh, temple in that center. That's, that's the a lot of times guys will stop there and then go up into the center 50. I think that I think you're right. I think that's where he's trying to go and he got clip going in there. Well that's a good off the break shot here for oh. the Russians. Gives them a one body advantage and they throw it away by losing a gunfight. That was a very good I mean he just wanted to fight that guy right there for no reason. I think that's Alex just posted this way. Yeah, so I think that's actually Kyle oh. Spica. Is it Spica? Yeah, in the stand-up temple, but they lose Ryan Greenspan. So Ryan Greenspan, we've been calling the back center bunker the bunker of death, the small <laughs> Aztec in the back center. Lots of bounce shots in there. Looks like Kirill Pridney is going to take the walk for the Russians as well, too. So body's kind of dropping all over the place here. And playing the aggressor, Alexander Burtnikov. Dave, he's somebody you played against for years. Yeah, man, he's, he's a beast. He, he knows there's a guy going down the drill side for Dynasty right now. He's got to address that real fast. Yeah, he's the only one left. His center just got shot, so it's not looking good for Malloy right now. As Malloy fighting for his life here, yeah. wheeling and dealing all over the place, and just too many Dynasty guns still alive. So nice job by Kyle Spicka to stay alive on this snake side in that chaos. And most importantly, Tyler Harmon down on that D side of the field for Dynasty. Tyler is just the praying mantis. He is just a beast. He is, man. And With a bad haircut right now. <laughs> he's got the gold hair. <laughs> yeah, I had to do like a triple take when I first saw him. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure that's Tyler, but he normally has the like flowing locks. And, uh, and he shaved his head and dyed his hair gold. It's like Seven Mile, like a bad version of Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Central California Modesto. Uh, <laughs> Motown. Yeah. So that's a 2 nothing right lead right there for Dynasty. So I wonder what the Russians will do to switch it up. Usually they don't just keep taking a beating. No, they, the Russians don't normally take many beatings. Yeah. Even in their bad years, they weren't getting beat up too much. They kept it kind of close. But, um, you know, heading into this season, Davey with the story from the Russians last year they took second place they they lost to uh, they lost to impact in the finals of the World Cup so you know really I felt that they had rebuilt their team finally and those younger guys had been contributing and they have the French mercenaries also big shout out to carbon paintball head to carbonpaintball.com they're giving away with this awesome new pack it's got like the old school Reebok pump shoes it's got that technology but it's got it in a pack so and incredibly lightweight and they have 15% off uh, store wide on there on their website now right now thunder i think they send little hansen up the center this time instead of gomez gomez has been the guy for thunder going up and uh looks like brandon morales getting shot for thunder so davy guys you're familiar with as they've been playing for 19 years and you played against them mikey lou map chim and uh corey field kind of composing the core of thunder this is their 19th season together that's that's tough to do in this yeah, it's tough to do with everything it is admirable physically is one thing well and then one of your younger younger stars this guy brandon morales just got shot off the snake side here he's uh been really d evolving into an offensive threat but the tough thing on this this particular snake side is this not this is not a uh, cannonball snake side right. where it you know takes one snake one off the rate get someone behind him put a guy in and go this is a crafty get on his stomach crawl through this little snake maze they got here and really pick and choose your battles over here and it's not every point that teams are pushing down the snake side yeah this is one of the snakes you really try hard not to let them know you got in there. Oh, yeah. So if you can get in there unseen, is about the only, with all those bells bouncing around in there, they're so close together. And, you're there's, gonna, a, and there's bounce shots. Yeah, you're going to want to get in there and try and get as far down unseen. It's been interesting how people have been playing this snake. You really have to pick and choose your fights. You have to You really use your head a lot in there, listen to the communication, where those guns are shooting. So close game here. One to zeros. We're just getting things going, and it looks like it's three on three. No, it might be four on four. It's like Thunder down two bodies. Go. Yeah, there's definitely two bodies that have come off for Thunder. So it's three on four. Advantage to Boom. This is a big point for Boom here. Is you know, we're getting things going, but you don't want to let Thunder start railing those points up. Yeah, it looks like Thunder got Boom got into the snake here, and he's either looking for someone else coaching. I don't know what he's doing. 
you're staring into his pit. Well, here's what we're talking about, Davey, is you see the boom player start to crawl through the snake. You gotta get through this little maze here. We've been calling it a maze because as they kind of start crawling around, it looks like they're crawling through a little maze. He's now in, trying to get to snake too. He's thinking about it. So this is this is exactly what we're talking about. He's worried about that, that pressure, that threat of paint coming right around the other side of that bunker. So he needs to stay low and stay tight to that bunker, come around and yeah. hopefully get someone behind him. And there goes, yeah. boom, getting a guy behind right him. as you said, that that's what he needs. Because I think he thinks there's someone in here with him. He's playing this real, like, waiting to get bunkered kind of... Kind of tentative. Yeah. yeah, playing it a little tentative. When you know that there's no one in there with you and there's no one out wide, then the snake's yours. Yeah, you can just keep coming. You can almost play the, whole, play the netting. It's, this is like the question we would always ask younger players to try to get them to thinking that right aggressive mindset in the snake, that smart aggression, is what is stopping you? Yeah. What do you need? What's stopping you from doing your job? And that's what that guy just behind him just got behind him. It's, hey, man, let's go down the snake. And this is one of their better players. This is a Blake McShane here for Boom. It's like Corey Fields here is locking it down, trying to survive that Dorito side. And that's what he does best. I think he's going to have to get get out of there pretty quick, or that Ladrillo guy is just going to come up keep coming. Well, D1 is focusing his gun over here to try to keep McShane honest in the snake. He's a little yeah. bit past the 50-yard line, and his back player now going to the stand-up temple with Corey Field dying. So that should really... Oh, but look at this. Blake McShane gets shot cross field from D1. So that's, that's the shot he was worried about. But not enough bodies left alive. So even though Blake McShane getting taken out, still two bodies left alive for Boom on that D side of the field. And Corey Fields gets some props. He lived longer than he really should have. Well, that's he what he's good at. He was a tough situation there. As soon as that guy figured out, the corner guy figured out he could shoot him, he just kind of got on him and clipped him out of there. Well, it's like we talk about, you know, Certain guys have certain skill sets, and Corey's good at shooting guys off the break. He's good at low body situations, and he's good at staying alive. Yeah. It's kind of all of the things you want out of a back guy, and that's one of the reasons Corey Field's been able to play this game at a high level for 19 years. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just amazing. It's like Kobe Bryant's status. It's also cool that, um, you know, Mikey Lou and Matt Chim are playing so well. Matt Chim had such a good second half of the 2016 season. He looked like, I mean, we've been playing with and against Mike, Matt Chim for, uh, since the early Naughty Dog days. Some of the best paintball I ever watched him play. That's, Maybe it's like a fine wine. With age, you got better. Well, you know, paintball, it, it, you have to, it's, I mean, it's tough on your body if you play it for a long time, as, as we well know. Yeah. But, uh, as you know, that's why you got your crooked, crooked pinky. Scheduling knee surgery. Yeah, how, is, how is your crooked pinky these days? Does it actually stretch out? Not yeah. at all. It's a miracle, doctors say, that it works. So now here, on the breakout, Dynasty taking that center 50 again, but here come the Russians to counter. We'll see if he comes around. So he hits that's that, so that's Smochar. Yeah, so he hits, he's this, Smochar's done that twice now. He goes in and hits that bunker. Um, it hasn't worked out either time yet. I like that, it's a crafty play. And then Smotrov goes, he hits that center 50 and then comes back to take the stand-up temple. Unfortunately for the Russians, they do lose a body. Dynasty not down any bodies. And they have five strong and a two point lead. Yeah, this is going to be a real critical point for the Russians. They can't afford to make any mistakes. Now Smotrov's going to go back up there. Now, if you've watched him and scouted him, you think he's back there, and he's filled it back up. Well, and then Smotrov runs through and stitches up Alex Frazier and stays alive by the young star here on Smo for Smotrov on the Russians. Work. I think he might have got clipped in his pack, though. No, I think Alex know, he's still alive. It. Alex There's would be screaming about it. They got a penalty over here, too. So Smotrov finally gets clipped off, out, but the damage is done. A penalty assessed on Dynasty, and I see nothing but a sea of blue walking off. They had five alive and an advantage, but... Until Smodrov got yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, until the, until the bowling ball comes to the center. Until he decided, you know what, I'm tired of playing out here in the sun. <laughs> Just put you guys all back in there. Yeah, and, and so that's what we were talking about earlier at the outset of this game, Davey, is that the younger guys, if, if the Russians can get Smotrov, Zabara, Polnikov, if they can get those younger guys to elevate their game just a little bit more, they're going to constantly be contending for wins out here, just like they were at World Cup. I haven't really got an opportunity to watch a lot of points out here, but that was one of the smartest things I've seen someone do. He's, That's the best move in the center it, we've seen all back, tournament. But then he fills it again and just goes right around. He doesn't play, doesn't stick around in there because he's just going to waste himself and trade out, but he's going to do it with the aggressiveness as I'm going to that tower and cause havoc. Yeah. He knew he was down a body. So he's, I mean, he played that... Real crafty. Yeah, he did. And against a really crafty team. And Exactly. And de you want to talk about the definition of crafty was the yeah. way Dynasty played yesterday. They had a 3-1 game against Thunder that was actually, even though low-scoring game, highly entertaining because of how crafty they were playing. You're watching there on the replay. Uh, but we haven't seen a guy go through the center yet and live the way that Smotov just did. And so with the addition of the low, of the craftiness with yeah. the bunker hit, oh, you're that's, people that's the best play yeah. that we've seen so far out here, I feel, all tournament long. Yeah, I think Alex was more of one of those, how is he alive still shooting us? Well, those 
are the frustrating ones where you know you get shot. It's like where the run through was invented that game where yeah. Richie Malchewski came through and shot all of us. Yeah. And you're look and we're the front guys dying looking back like how did nobody shoot this guy? Like, how is no one stopping this train? Yeah, yeah. So that's. But hey, like you talked about, that was the crucial point for the Russians because you don't want to let a team like Dynasty get up 3-0 on you. Not when the time can run down too. You can just they can just stall this game. And knowing that Dynasty had been has been able to control time in their games yesterday. Well, the game plan looks like it's we're gonna you know risk one and all sit back here and shoot our guns and if we have to we'll try something. But that's that has been Dynasty's plan, and you've played on the team for years, so yeah. you would know better than most how they strategize. Yeah. Here we go. This, so, I mean, it seems to me like this wall here is it's a 50-50 no matter what. If he's in there with you, it's just a trade out. Not even people are not going around anymore. I'd say 90 percent of the time, maybe even more than 90 percent of the time, when one player plays, it doesn't matter. They they end up trading out. Right. Uh, but still, you don't want to let that guy up there in that center 50 be alive. I mean, that's kind of paintball 101. You got a guy on the other side of your bunker, you just go get him out of there. Not to, not to go back to the smudge thing, but when in this tournament do you think he'll just pull the trigger and go up there and stay up there? And uh, really set somebody he, up. He's, he, they, they have done that. Okay. They have definitely done that. But if you're scouting the Russians right now, you're like, uh, yeah, you're kind of like, okay, well, what are they going to do? I, I don't really know yet. Looks like we've got five on five here. Good breakout from both teams. Yeah, good breakout for both squads. It's So it's tied on the body count. It's tied on the points. One to one and a lot of time to go. 10.52 on the clock. The battle developing here in the center. Both of these guys have been alive up in that center since the outset of this point. And then finally getting taken out looks like boom, and I don't think Thunder dropped their body, no. and that's the that's the holy grail right there. That's yeah, what now you want. Can, and you're yeah, you're in all the positions. That wall guy is going to be able to lock a side off. You know the snake side is not far, so you can just go to that Dorito side and lock it off. Yep. But Thunder's going to have Thunder looks like they're coming out and they're content with this. So here we go. And as I say that, it goes in down the Doritos. Thunder looks like they're going to do the same thing. They're, as I see, they're going to come out, try something. If it doesn't work, but they're in their spots. Well, the thing that I've wanted to see in the growth and development of Thunder, Davey, is that, and uh, you know, being a scrappy kid when you were growing up, um, is that it playing Thunder when they're not playing the way they should be is like fighting a boxer who doesn't use his jab efficiently. Right. You're only worried about the overhand right, right, and he's not using his jab to set up another punch. And that's what paintball is all about. You use one move to set another move up. Yeah, 100%. And so when they're playing well is when they're coordinating those moves together, and they're looking really sharp here and, and efficient in those moves, and that's why it's five on four right now. Let's see if they can take advantage of this one extra body. Yeah, I mean, just personally, I don't know what's stopping these two guys from making something happen on the snake side. There's this guy, the one can is stopping two Thunder players from coming down the side. Now, I don't know if maybe it's more beneficial to be in. I'm not playing the guy's spot, but maybe it is more beneficial to be in that Aztec than he's going to try and sling. He's well, just trying to slingshot by Well, him. they got out wide. Looks like Morales is out wide here. And they also have the insert bunker, so that they are making some moves. And they still have, most goes. importantly, they have that center 50, and then they win a gunfight. So... And then there goes Map Chim, who gets right into the snake, and now not feeling any pressure. Map's just going to crawl all the way to the 50 yard that's, line. That's what I like to see right there. He knew the situation. Just come right down this thing. Off he this knew guy. which way the guns were shifted. I think so he lost the Dorito guy, though. I don't think he knows who that Dorito guy is now. He thinks he's in Dorito 1, he's in Dorito 2. Well, oh, he gets a kill. He gets so. that guy, though. <laughs> nice kill here for Map, and then now no one's picked up Map, so he's going to get a free one. And this is, Davey, this is exactly what I was just talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's vintage Map Chim right there. Yeah. So if you're a Seattle Thunder fan, that's what you want to see out of one of your star guys. And and you know who just continuing to impress me is this bearded guy right here, Davey uh, Gomez. Really? Um, yeah, because he, the they, so Seattle Thunder didn't bring arguably, I feel, their best player here, who's Mitchell Jordan. Now Mitchell Jordan unfortunately couldn't make it uh, to this event, and I don't know if he's going to be playing this season with them. So I talked to Gomez at the beginning of this event, and uh, and he knew he looked that he needed to personally step it up, take it upon himself to fill that gap. So now he's going to be the guy, and I feel that he's been stepping up. We just saw him play the center really well. There. Yeah, I mean, there, there's talent there. What's Mitchell Jordan's story? Mitchell Jordan's story? They're just just you know couldn't conflict couldn't, of interest. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was just more of like real life stuff, yeah. you know, like the type of thing where just couldn't afford to make it all the practices. You can't go to your hobby. Oh. Yeah, that sort of thing. You know, I mean, it's you know, Thunder's not a, a highly funded team. They they don't have a rich owner. It's it's you know they do everything they can to make it to these events, and uh, so unfortunately they, they weren't able to bring Jordan. But Gomez is stepping up so much that if he can continue to play like this, he's filling that void nicely. The bunker, another penalty on Dynasty, and the guy from the bunker of death looks like Marcelo coming out, of, or that Marcelo coming out of that bunker of death as you oh, call it. Oh, just see just a, four people coming yeah, off. Yeah, there's nothing but blue jerseys walking off for Dynasty. With lots of paint on their back. That's not a good sign. You're still. Seconds into this. Oh, here Try comes it. Karzlev on oh. and down. Burtnikov. So a desperation run for the last player on Dynasty on that D side of the field. 
Ryan Greenspan trying to make something happen. Unfortunately for him, he was looking at a lot of guns for the Russians still. Yeah, it looked like uh, I think A-Rod tried to go up there, got clipped, got a penalty right as Marcelo was getting shot out of the back. So that's three people right there. Well, let's listen into the pits here for San Diego Dynasty. Well, you were calling for a check, and the ref ran in and gave you a penalty. Oh, you packed your pack. Oh, I packed it. I was sitting, I was like, fucking waiting at them. I know. You were asking the ref to come in. Were you I saw the whole thing. No, I was fucking sitting in my fucking waiting Maybe that's why Marcel rest. got shot. He was watching no, him. He was not. No, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of penalties, all right? Okay, clear it. Well, they got to shake off that penalty there. That's that notorious didn't feel the, the pack hit, you know, because it's tough, man. The, the paint's fragile. These, these packs are double stacked. Sometimes you don't feel that. But there he's waving for a call. He's asking uh, for a check. I'm not knocking any of these refs. It's a hard job out there. You're out there all day. That's one you're like, uh, maybe keep that in your pocket. Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, he definitely, we just saw there in the replay here brought to you by Carmen. He Somebody was waiting. It's all right. Shit's going to happen. We just got to well, play through it, Excuse You go back to that Ironman game. You go back to the guy, not, the x tracker guy not getting a penalty, and then you get a penalty just like that. And that's 10 minutes ago. That's, but that's what happens. Yeah. Inconsistency. It, it's tough. I mean, I felt yesterday the refs did a really good job, um, and I didn't see that Ironman one, so I, I can't speak to something I did not see. Uh, and we get to watch it again. And we get to watch. And we get to watch that one. Yeah. The, the refs, though, I'll tell you what. The refs now. There is a. Um, we are utilizing replay in, during for swing points. And on Sunday, the, perfect. The, yeah. So we get have the, right. the refs have the ability to come into the production truck and look at the replays to try to make sure they're getting the call right. And I think that's a great addition to the rules. It's like any other sports. They say now, just let's just get it right. If you, I, I'm a big fan of that too. Yeah. It drives me. It's, it drives you crazy as a fan of a team to watch a team, you know, get a bad shake of it because the refs miss the call when they have the technology to make it's it right. It's not like this is a basketball season or a baseball season where there's a hundred of these things. There's five. There's you get four five. Events. You get five events. Yes. That's it. So let's get it right for these yeah, guys. Absolutely. There's a lot at stake. Here we go. So Seattle looks like they kind of they're just going to try and get this corner bus. Oh, jeez, another penalty. Now that guy, okay. Oh, this is a free point here for Seattle Thunder. Nothing but just red bodies walking off on Boom's side. This is one of those situations Boom, honestly, could just concede. Because nothing good's going to happen right now. Your guy's going to try and run and press and just be like, nah. He's going to get stitched up. you got to clean him up when or he gets, gets back. Penalty. He gets a major. Yeah. Well, it looks like Brandon Morales might have got, no, I'm sorry, Mikey Lou might have got clipped out here. I don't see any paint on him. <laughs> Obviously, they're doing pretty well when you can stand and get a full down check. Nope. Yeah, well, he did He did get clipped, so there is a little hope for Boom right now, but Thunder still has four bodies alive. Oh. And there goes another one for Boom, and I think just one body left alive for Boom right now. So here comes the gap getting closed. Hanson's going to make his move into the snake and roll his gun. Just that yeah. So that's a pretty easy point for Seattle Thunder. They're going to take a two-point lead now. That's back to back, boom. same penalties from that referee, almost identical. Well, now this is the test for Boom. They just they came off the, the huge win that they had on San Diego Dynasty, right? And you know, younger team coming up, how big of a win is that for uh, for them? I mean, I was shocked. I walked over here to the Dynasty. I was like, well, on life support, we just lost to Boom. Nothing against Boom, but Dynasty and Boom. Of course, yeah. on paper, you get. Yeah. Well, we got to talk about like it really is. Yeah. I mean, boom is one of the lowest ranked teams, 15th overall last year, and you know, Dynasty took sixth overall, um, but they had two second places last year, right. and it's San Diego Dynasty, you know. Yeah, so and then it goes back to the also have 50 pro wins. I mean, that's just your pedigree. Exactly, and 16 years in so the league. So that's huge for Boom to actually. But, for but that's to win the that thing. Game. Don't sleep on these younger teams, man. Boom, last year they slowly but surely got better and better, getting good teams, good games, but and then here they have this big matters. win. You want a big game? Yep. Now don't don't fail it down the. Don't river. rest on your yeah, laurels. Yeah. Don't take that as your win in practice. Yeah. Exactly. A lot of tournament left. Yeah. So now on the breakout, Dynasty getting a rod back up to that center. It looks like the first body to drop. Two bodies Jeez. have dropped for the Russians. It's almost like this feels somehow people don't want to leave to get alone. They want to take somebody with them. That's a good one. It's definitely, there. that has definitely happened a lot, Davey, yeah, for sure. Like, Three bodies now walking off for the Russians. It's deaths in bunches out here. Yeah, I think, uh, Ryan, look at Ryan. He's going to play this. He's not even going to mess around. Yeah, Ryan just goes right through the maze and it, then comes out here. It's Snake 2. He's going to go past Snake 2. Now he's going to spend a lot of effort for just an easy win. He's going to crawl all the way That's down the here. That's the worst when you get to crawl the whole length of and the snake and you pop like, up no. and everyone's just like, hey, man, we're good. We're, don't we're, shoot we us. Shot every, yeah, yeah, don't shoot me, man. Sorry, <laughs> you're, sorry you're winded. Oh, yeah, geez. Ryan's got Ryan's got to put his hands on his knees, take a deep breath. I mean, all those uh, running in the park doesn't compare to diving in a snake in 80-degree weather and crawling <laughs> yeah, down. And it, crawl they, down. You don't get to have your shirt off here in shorts. <laughs> so big point for Dynasty. Going to take the lead here. 
That was just, uh, obviously we're not privy to see what happened on that drill side, but it seemed like the Russians just lost two guys right away. They did. They got it's two. Almost the same stream for, clipped them. For sure, one body shot off the break, and I think the second one was either off the break or immediately in his initial gunfight. Like I said, he wants a friend. Hey, I don't want you to walk alone. Let's uh, let's go back. It's interesting you noticing that, and it is definitely happening in these games, this this game particularly, but we've seen that this tournament. A lot of guys dying together. Yeah. And that's that's how you lose tournaments. You can take a, the Titanic can take one hole in it. It can't take the iceberg blowing through the whole front of it. Absolutely. And, and that's one of the most frustrating things is when you're playing a point and you look over and you don't see one guy come off yeah. one of your boys, it's two or three. And you're like, well, okay, we're going to, that's, we're probably going to lose this point unless I could pull off some sort of magic. <laughs> yeah, and unless your next five balls come out of your gun, hit two of them. <laughs> yeah. Which, you know, I mean, Which is, hey, we've it, all seen it happen. I've seen a one on five happen. We're Denver, baby. First of all, yeah, first of all, when you do that, it's luck. Oh, yeah. It's pure. It's like 10% skill, 90% luck. But I had your eyes closed shooting. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys ran into those for me? Thanks. Yeah. So here we go. Now, this is like, we're going back to that boom thing we were talking about earlier. You beat a good team. It's time for you to show how you beat them. That you've matured. Yeah. And I think that happens to a lot of younger teams. You're like, yeah, we got that win. We just beat Dynasty in the prelims. Oh, we have to play another we one? We made it. Oh. oh, those guys beat the hell out of us. Yeah. A team we should have beat. I'm not saying Thunder, they should beat Thunder, but. Yeah, on paper, Thunder should... This is a pretty comparable on paper game, though, right? Well, I would I would give Thunder, um, uh, on paper, very close. 11th overall for Thunder and 15th for Boom. So, you know, definitely both sitting at the bottom of the rankings. Um, Thunder, you know, four positions different. Best, but the best thing about you, the first event is everyone's a zero. And, and it's a new year. <laughs> yeah, you, you, got new you just had months and months and months to train. So, what did you do in that offseason? Did yeah. you get fat or did you get better? Yeah, and sometimes, like, you know, I know these Thunder guys just haven't been on the West Coast. The weather has not treated them well, and there's no indoor up there for them to really practice at. Yeah, this is definitely the one winner if you're a California team where, uh, and well, Pacific Northwest, those guys are so used it to playing. It's raining out here, I'm putting my money on Thunder. We have a torrential downpour. Oh, a, thousand, that a thousand percent. <laughs> those guys are so, we used to hate playing. I used to hate playing teams in Pacific Northwest when it was a downpour because they're used to playing in rain, and we would just be like, oh, it's raining outside? Uh, let's practice next weekend. Yeah, I don't even want to drive. I can't drive from San Diego. I can't even get out. I'm calling it sick. Looks like Gomez is going to take the walk here for Thunder early, dying out of that center. Blue so tech. that's kind of one of the... I haven't really seen Gomez die early much here at this event. He's been pretty consistent in staying alive. Boom's got a pretty good handle on this point right here. They just need to... It's all, I mean, Obviously, we're sitting here. We didn't get to play, obviously. But it seems to be hard to cross that gap right there, Matty. Like, from Dorito 3 almost to Dorito 4, it's just... The gaps are big like jumping there. the Grand Canyon. Well, that's why we're watching a lot of bodies die inner point. And, right. we're, and we're seeing a lot of bodies die off the break. Uh, the, even the ba there's a lot of bounce shots. The back center, which should be the safest bunker on the field, is the bunk we've started calling the bunker of death. This is a chaotic oh, layout. Yeah, he got him trying to cross there. So there goes another Thunder guy. Yeah, Thunder. Hey, uh, did you just to go back to that Ironman uh, expected game, what did you think of that point where they played... The Ironman played, uh, they were up five, X-Factor was a four, but then they, they ran two bodies far in a game where they could have literally just handed it back to the Ironman. It's kind of like that kind of thinking. Like, but x Factor's super confident now because they've won the first Winter Classic. Yes. They're the only winners here right now. Yes, that's true. X-Factor did win the, uh, the out-of-season event in Florida, the Winter Classic for the NXL. Which I think was huge for the NXL to get that and just start so that you can kind of warm up a little bit. Get I it. think it's great. That was great. I, I wish we could have gone events? and covered it. If there's more events, that's better. Hey, I'm all for more paintball. So here goes the run through in the center for Boom. Boom trying to close out here, and they're able to do it to pull within one. It's now three to two. This is going to be a good game. Watch. This is going to turn out to be a good game. We've seen some good games today. Yeah. The Dynasty Boom game was awesome. I mean, we're watching one on the other side. The Russian, Russian. Yeah, the Thunder Russians game, that was a good game. The X Factor Ironman game ended up being good, even though it looked like X Factor was going to run away with it. Uh, AC Dallas PC Katana was the only game that wasn't too close. That score ended up being 6 3. And we've got, a, yeah, two good games right now. So yeah, this today's is, been a good day. I'm glad I got to sit here and watch these two. Oh, a, a, a lot of my friends are out there. And B, it's a good game, back to back. Yeah. Nothing, I'm probably sure there's well, nothing worse than you sitting here for a snowball game. Why can you? Yeah, it's the, the <laughs> snores. Um, yeah. Well, the thing about Saturday that's in, you know, Friday, the story is who trained in the offseason or, you know, if we're heading into the events, who trained in between events, who looks good, who doesn't. But Saturday, you could see the intensity change in the pits for everybody. When we got that camera in the pits and we're looking at the faces and the... Well, it's do or die yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. You know, this, the, the tournament's at stake right now, whether or not you're going to move on to Sunday. And you're looking at the match stats there for the top five kill keeters. Ru Russians losing a body off the break. Good off the break shots there. That was amazingly fast. And the Dynasty loses a Dorito guy right away, though. Four on four. I think that's Blake Yarber coming off for San Diego Dynasty. 
as the Russians lose Chambon. You know what's great about watching? We're just no, talking Karsman. two different levels Karsman. here. And I'm not, again, not knocking anybody. But there's no freak out on either one of these guys. We lost the guy, you're like, that Russian guy is cool. Just cruised over there, filled the spot. Well, and on this layout, we don't see too many five-on-five five breakouts out here. Well, yeah, I don't so know how you're that kind of used to it. That first ball out of a gun has shot that guy in the gun. That's oh, amazing. Yeah, the, the off-the-break shot, and I think that's... That's one of those when the coach asks you what happened, you're like, I don't know. Turn around, got shot in the goggles. Yeah. Hey, man, I, I literally got <laughs> shot one step out of the start station. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's like... You're here right. comes... And so that was Alex Rodriguez, I think, who might have been shooting that lane off the break as oh. he now runs up in oh, the center. Air bunkers. The air bunkers the center back. 50. I don't know if he got back, though. I saw paint kind of coming off. Might have come off the bunker. Re oh, no. Yeah, the ref's going to get in and check him out. Ernikov was able somehow to fill out wide here on the snake side. No, and you're right. Davey A-Rod was able to stay alive. What was just freak timing was right here, Britnikov, which just wasn't looking somehow. Well, that's it's when Arod's wandering around the center of the field looking for somebody. How long have we watched Britnikov somehow, some talk how, about some way oh, find his way into that? That's him corner. right there. That just happened to him is what he does. Yeah, well, wander we, on the other side of the well, field, we, get back. We started. Uh, we named. We gave it. Came up with a term last year. We just called the Malloy now. Well, like anytime anybody makes some Malloy. crazy move, it's called the Malloy. Well, Arod just Malloyed Malloy with his move. Yeah, Arod definitely did a really well, good Dynasty job. Dynasty just that lost center. Greenspan on that side, I think. Uh, Smotrov also walked off for the Russians, yeah, so bodies huge. are dropping right now. But Brandon Short past the 50-yard line here in the snake with A-Rod alive in that center. Dynasty's in good field position right now. See, look, Malloy and these guys, you watch these great, anyone out there watching, look how tight he's not giving a, any, he's not giving Brandon an inch to shoot. Definitely the right size to play that ball. Yeah, that's true. You put my fat button there. And if you, <laughs> Brandon, Brandon could just shoot both sides of it. So we'll see if Brandon Ooh. can try to pinch out Malloy, but Malloy not giving him his pack. You can see Malloy's pack is towards Brandon, but tucked in tightly into that bunker. So it looks like we got Yosh behind. I think that's Yosh right behind. He needs to get up here and get in this. Well, Yosh had to come over from the other side of the field. Right, so he's, you know, probably winded. <laughs> so Brandon's going to try and move up this next leg. Oh, and Yosh just got Yosh just got pinched out of there. Yosh just got pinched, so... Am I missing somebody? Well, here comes Brandon. We'll see if Brandon... So Brandon gets the drop oh. on Malloy, and Brandon Short, still alive. He no. might have got clipped, though, too. But still, that was... That was awesome. I think we might have a one on one. If uh, I don't know, is, I think A Rod's still alive. I think he yeah, is. A Rod is still alive in that center, and Kirill is in that stand up, right? Yeah. So it's one on one right now. It's who knows where who is right now. What a chaotic point! I don't think either guy knows where like his opponent is. He just found him though. They just found each other, so and yeah. Kirill's gonna he's gonna lose him. A Rod's gonna lose him. Come on, don't do that. Oh, Kirill just got the drop on A Rod, and, and I then think A Rod's lost the count. No, wait, is there one a body left alive? No, there's two Russians left alive. Oh, is there? Uh, D D three is hot. Okay. From our position, you, anyone out there, we can't see through that pin. Yeah, so what a good job by the Russians to stay alive in all that chaos. But uh, Krill Pridney spreading the field as soon as he realized it was just A-Rod. A-Rod tactically retreating, which is what you should do in that situation. Right. Um, and A-Rod had Especially to... Especially when you're living on your second life well, anyways. And, and, yeah, you're on your second life. Uh, <laughs> but A-Rod was focusing his gun towards that D side because that was the most pertinent threat yeah. to him. Um, so he did everything he could. It's, it's not A-Rod's fault that they lost this He point. knows the talent level he's playing against. That guy's coming to get him if he doesn't get out of there. He's too much to ground to cover. The wall is too... You can't cover both sides of it, so... Well, once Yosh died, that was the linchpin. That was huge. That's, that, was the, that was the death that caused it right there. And I was going to say, man, Yosh just blew that. But I know the Russian guy had Dorito. I think Dorito 3, which makes it tough. Yeah, and I think the guy made a good move to the D side, or up that up on that D side to get the shot on Yosh, because Yosh was focusing on trying to cover Brandon out. Short in the snake and figure out the count. The guy just made a good Move. Well, even when, you know, going back to when there's a chaotic move, it messes both sides up. Yeah. Like Yosha's like, what happened? I just saw you go past the W and come flailing back. So Refs are running in yeah. everywhere. You're Bodies like, are coming off. I'm trying to play paintball. Could you guys leave it? Could keep calm down a little bit? <laughs> yeah. You know, that people forget about that. That's a distraction for but you as well. But this field, we've seen a lot of that. This is that we call, you know, scramble paintball, right? Yeah. You gotta you gotta work your way mentally through the scramble. And you know, there's the fear the guy's gonna run in there, gonna throw a penalty, you know, you're Looks like Boom is going down that drill side, from what I can see. Well, losing Gomez again for Seattle Thunder out of that center. So yeah, a couple early deaths for Gomez, who's played real consistent for the first them so two far. points were him, and now he's kind of just handing them back to him. Like now we're at zero, okay, kid. Let's. Well, these and points it, are gonna matter. Let's, and this is a huge point for Boom. It's they're only down by one. There's five minutes and 26 seconds left. So both of these games in the set very similar here. If Boom can utilize this, and that's uh, Shambler up there in the center. And the coach, the coach of Thunder needs to get that kid. Like, are you going to play 50-50 all day, or what are we going to do yeah. here? It's tough to plan around inconsistency. Yeah. It's very difficult on the game plan. But I don't mind. It's, it's tough up there in the center. That's a high risk situation when you we run don't it all the tens. way to center 50. We don't want ones. Give me seven Sevens and eight all day. Seven and eight all day long. <laughs> I can plan around that. Yeah. But coach that's is, what Gomez has been doing. Gomez has been playing it like eight all tournament long. 
Well, he's going to need to start picking up because I think Boom's going to... Two more Thunder guys are walking off here. Yeah, Mikey Lou comes off over here, snake side. Corey Boom. Field's still in this tower, just alive. The survivor, Corey Field. Hoping to get a clip here on somebody. But I don't think anything can stop this snake. Am I missing the guy? Okay, so it looks like Thunder, two guys in the back center here. The bet, monkey yeah, death. on your screen right now. Yeah. The two players both in the look, center. See, and I don't like when they do this. They're, they're both cross. They're not... They're not really talking. Like, they're both looking the same way. Now they're cross. Then they're going to go wide again. And this is why you run this drill in practice. Yeah. You do these drills in practice side by side so you get that, not only the sixth sense of knowing, okay, I just saw out of a flash of my eye my guy going D side, mm -hmm. I'm going to look snake. And then when I see him come back, Ooh. I'll switch back. You saw Corey get shot. But now let's go down the, sorry, go down the snake. Well, we'll see if he can catch him. He's going to shoot him right in the goggles. Oh, uh, Matt, Matt Chim trying the uh, I desperation liked, run. I like that. I like that. But you know what? He hesitated. When he got there, he thought about it and just took that step. This windows are too. This windows are too small. He should have just came flying around he, that corner. He had the right move in his mind, but he second guessed himself. Either for me to say sitting here like you blew that, but you could have just run. Well, down the field Davey, as a retired pro, that's now your job <laughs> is like, to criticize. Well, I'm just saying he, <laughs> you're good at that, Davey. I was gonna say that's he, what you're he, really he good at. Pulled a really, criticizing people. <laughs> he could have pulled one of those moves off where you just put this team away. Like this, the confidence of Boom would have just been dead. Well, that's that, which is really tough to do. But yeah, that you know that that move where all of a sudden you make that dynamic move. They were they caught him sleeping. They expected you to just fold. You make that big dyna yeah. dynamic. You shoot the guy in the snake, cast that guy on the other side, and all of a sudden it's a one on one. You win the one. The Dorito guy's like, what just happened? There's yeah. a, a guy in thunder jersey behind me. But and just taking that to the next level, you go in there instead of being frustrated like Matt is right now. You're high five people and like I'm playing every point. It's a momentum. Give me this. It's a momentum shift. Yeah. You can, can you feed me. You can get me out there. Because as it, <laughs> Absolutely, at, but at, but he second guessed himself, and that's one of those you go back like, man, I should have just believed in myself right there. But it's all tied up at three in that match, and tied up at three in this match. Six thirty-eight on the clock. Maddie, in your opinion, how long before we just start seeing like teams roll out here with six dudes, seven dudes with the split deck kind of situation? Well, that's been an ongoing argument. A lot of clean guys in the pits, a lot well, of dirty guys. I, I mean. feel like teams are well, it, it's. It's gone back and forth. Some teams have been running with two lines. Some teams have been going with starting five. But it, it's really it dependent on two things. One, how are all your guys playing? Because you can't run with just seven guys oh. if you're not getting consistent. Like we talked about the eight. Yeah. Play at an eight. But if you I, get two consistent guys, you're not rotating them out. No. And, and that's, that is th how things are starting to go now. And as, Yeah, exactly. You're, gonna get, you're not going to put Michael Jordan on the bench while somebody else gets a PT. You would definitely not want to do that if you are trying to give yourself the best chance yeah. to win. And there's a, a long enough break in between these points that these guys are, you know, they're in good shape. They can get back to there. So Dynasty switches guys in and out a lot because they have that depth. Now X Factor also has started to develop some depth too. Just talking about some different teams, but I like a guy like Archie. Archie plays every single point no matter what until he can't go anywhere. Why wouldn't you? Exactly. And I feel bad for Damian Ryan. I'm just, you know, he used to be that guy, but now he has Lyme disease. It's like... Damien has Lyme disease. Yeah, oh, that's wow. why he looks so skinny. I don't oh. know if that I apologize to Damien if I put that out there for everybody, but we were talking about it, and I have a family friend that has it. It's, it's, it's different. Oh, it's a rough thing, man. It's a really rough thing. It's just, you know, you look at Damien. He was a beast. He played every point. That's probably why he was MVPs every time they every time they do well, he's their best player. Yeah, I did not know that. I, my, my heart goes out to him. And now man. he plays you know, every, every three points for every point. I mean, sure, he'll get back. <clears throat> So right now here, as Dynasty has lost a couple bodies, and that puts the Russians in a good situation. But it's three on it's three to three now. So the Russians can't just sit back and let the time tick off. They have to make moves, and it looks like Smotrov launches to get to that 50-yard line. And you know, as David, we watched that first move that he did, uh, best move of the tournament so far. So well, he's in his element up there now. Now he's the king of it, king of the roost. He's like, okay, I can go up there and I feel confident. I know I can outplay my guy ahead. Well, when you get a young player, we we were these guys. You were this guy. Really good, but inconsistent when you first started out. But when you were playing and having a good day, how big of a confidence booster was it to have like a move of the tournament type thing? Because now you're just like, you just said, hey, put me in every point, feed me, man. Yeah. Just and give me spins. What, you know, you take a, a, a young kid who's on the precipice of being really good, yeah. and you surround him with the Molloys and the guys that are like, I and know. The Go ahead, blow it. Go ahead. Try it. I, we got you. Yeah, we got we you. The burden of We're going to pull these off. Yeah, exactly. We want you to go up there and create damage. Yeah, which is why they have that kit. That's what they want out yeah. of him. <laughs> We're old. We want to sit back here and watch you be mess the up the pot, be the and then we'll ball. just sweep it out of the way. Absolutely. Break everything, and we'll just sweep it over. Cleaning crew yeah. coming through and cleaning it up. So right now, Dynasty's still with three bodies. Time is ticking off under four minutes to go, and you're seeing Smotrov on the right-hand side of your screen. Up there, he's been going back and forth, snake side, D side, looking in the windows. He's tall enough, Two guys to, coming he's off again. Tall enough to play that bunker. Uh, but Malloy comes off, so uh, death for the Russians here. So Dynasty locking into a gunfight and getting a shot on arguably the best player on that team, Alexander Burtnikov. Oh, here goes Ryan. He's going to not deal with this. 
So Malo yeah, so there goes a nice job, and, and he stays alive. That was a clutch. Down bodies, Ryan Greenspan goes up there and takes out the young star for the Russian Smochov and stays alive. And it looks like Dynasty might be able to close this out. We'll see if Alex Rodriguez can help out yeah. Ryan Greenspan here, and they both stay alive. What a beautiful job down. It was a five on three situation, a low body situation here for Dynasty. And they are well, going to yeah. get this point. It was like, you know, five on four with Ryan out there. It's like two people sometimes. <laughs> I mean, when he's playing well, he's probably one of the top five guys in the world. Oh, when Ryan's playing, like, the best that Ryan can play, he's the best guy out here. Yeah, because he's a smart guy, he, and he can he can play every which way. He can play sit, he can sit back on you, and he can play super aggressive. Well, he's, he's when we talk about versatility, you really, there's only a couple guys in the conversation that are as versatile as Ryan. Ryan literally can play. I mean, a lot of times we'll say, oh, a guy's versatile, and he might be able to play on the D side and on the snake side, or play in the center, or play the play the two and the one. Ryan can play the three, he can play the two, he can play the one, and do it as good as anyone out there. When I was on the team with those guys, what I would try and do is not play as well, but get the most out of Ryan. But Ryan, you can challenge. He's a prima donna, but if you challenge him, it really, his inner beast comes out. Like, calling him shitty and making him suck? Yeah. You suck, man. You do something. That's the kind of work you get out of Well, him. it's interesting to be a teammate with guys and you know who, who you can challenge. Like, Nicky Cuba was like that. Yeah, you can go up to Nicky and be like, you're playing so bad right now. I need you to step up. You can challenge him, smack him in the face, and be like, you're playing terrible. I need you to get it up. Whereas if you went to a guy like Nate Carl Markowski when we first picked him up, but now he's different. Now, now you can challenge him. Yeah. But when he was 19, 18 years old, it was a totally different story. You had to, you had to coddle him. Yeah. Whereas you could challenge Nick, you're challenge Ryan. But that's what you got to know as a veteran, as a coach, who you can challenge and who you need to kind of help. And if you're not playing well, up. the best you want to get something, something better out of your teammate. Yeah. It's like Bill Parcells about Lawrence Taylor. I guess there's a story that he just, every time we walk over, I'm like, are you going to play today? Lawrence Taylor could have four, five, four sacks, four or five sacks, and all of a sudden it's like, are you doing anything out there? And he, really? He would lose his mind and then go get two more sacks. That's a good coach. You he have would to just, know your He would your never players. give him credit either. So that was the whole. Now we got, this is a huge point right here. What do we got? 3-3. Three, three. Well, and a body dropping off right now for Thunder. And, and, booms. and yeah, boom. boom. Body walking off for Boom too. Both all on that D side. Looks like, do you think, to Maddie, do you think there's a lot of just like shooting each other at this time? Like, they, oh, yeah, sometimes, but on this, oh, look at this though. A move coming through the center piece. for Boom. That was huge. Gets, yeah, gets himself a little two pack right there. And that is really going to open things up for Boom as there is no aggression left and another body coming off for Thunder. So it's just either Morales or Lou in this back corner bunker. And he's and he gets taken out too, so this is a quick one for Boom. And with three minutes and 11 seconds left, <laughs> Boom is, man, they're getting close to winning both their games today, which is really gonna Got to change the tone, the, huh? Yeah, they're, this is, these are inner bracket games too. So it's uh, this particular bracket, bracket is the four teams playing right now. It's Moscow Red Legion, Dynasty, Thunder, and Boom. So that means that, quick math here real fast, the loser of Dynasty <laughs> and <laughs> Russians will be in a real tough spot. Well, yeah, so... Especially if it's Dynasty, because they lost to Boom. Both, both, yes, Dynasty lost to Boom, and if Boom... But Boom is... Uh, Boom lost both their games yesterday, and they could potentially win both their games today, so they could go 2-2. Two and two. Dynasty won both their games yesterday, and then lost to, to, to the Russians. I'm sorry, to lost to Boom. And then, so Red Legion went 1-1 one and one yesterday, but won their first game against Thunder, so it's kind of all over the place right here, so... Huge... Huge ramifications coming out of this. Yes, this is this is the, and this and this is the end of this of this morning set here, we go. here for these teams. And if they may, oh, it come! You just can't loot. You can't die that time. Nope, they're gonna go check the Russian guy. Well, a Rod's, A Rod's coming off. Well, and it looks like he's trying to say that the it's off the ground oh. and Smo Smo Smotrop is still alive. Must have said it good enough English. Motrov still alive for the Russians. Now shooting towards oh, nice that shot. D side. Nice shot on Blake. Not looking good for Dynasty. They lose a Rod. They lose Blake. But they were in this situation yeah, in the last point. Then we lost Ryan. Ryan trying to fill Blake's spot. And again, that's a kind of silly move by Ryan right there. Not that I'm knocking him. It's just saying is that let let it settle. Blake just died. Set it back up and pull your move off again that you just pulled off. Well, here comes Britnikov's not going to let that happen this time. Nice work by Axel Godin as well. And Smotrov. If Smotrov young, plays really well. I think these guys are going to be tough. Like, he's up there with confidence now. And you know how I know? He's telling the ref, I'm not hit. Nah, nah, nah I have the ground. Get out of here. <laughs> and then the ref, you just watch someone dominate all the time? You're like, I guess so. Yeah. I'm not going to tell Tony Gwynn it's a strike. Tony <laughs> Gwynn bats 400, you know? Yeah, you didn't swing at it? Must have been a ball. <laughs> 
Well, and I'd, I'd like that you brought that up, though, because that's really been the story for the Russians. Now, the story with the Russians, legendary franchise, won World Cups, and one of the most dominant teams in history, <laughs> but then they fell into disrepair when they lost um, their three core guys. When they realized they were good and people would pay them. Exactly. So when those guys started getting bigger paychecks and took the money, um, it kind of put the Russians in a bad spot. They had to then start picking up younger guys and train them like they did when Fedorov and Burtnikov and, and Nishko were coming up back in the day. Yes. And so then they got Burtnikov back. And slowly, and with Krill stayed the whole time, and then they started training these young kids. And they picked up the French mercenaries from the Tauntauns yeah, to hold it crazy. down in the meantime, which, and they did great for them. Yeah. To, well, hold, to hold the line. Oh, Scott Dunning, he's still on the team, so he's, he survived, right? Axel's great. Uh, Chambon, he's, yeah. he's great too. And he's got a cool name, I don't, Chambon. Yeah, I don't think, that, I don't see Colombo here, or if he's here, he's not getting many reps, but he was another guy that was holding it down, and Louis Velo, who's retired now to run the French Federation. Well, you're so, going to start seeing turnover a little bit faster with this split deck, like I said. You only need five guys. Yeah, but the teams are still riding with heavy lines and it's working. And, well, your, your best guy in your second line is probably going to go to another team, which is going to make a spot somewhere else. Yeah, so it's it's been interesting. It's not quite developed into a starting five. It just depends on the team and the players. So Huge point here for Thunder. Yeah, this is this is big right now. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go in this close matchup with Boom. And this is like by their, one. This is the most aggressive they've been on the well, snake side. Here comes a big move in the center yeah. as Boom comes to fill and try to clean out. And trade, did he trade out or did he yeah, survive? Yeah, he, no, he traded out. Oh, yeah, he's on the other side. So we've got one, four on four right now. Four boom, on four. Boom just went to Dorito three on that side. I just saw feet flail. So Gomez getting bunkered out of that spot. So that's... Thunder's all looking one way. A kind of a rough game for Gomez here in this one. So it's going to be up to his compatriots here. Mikey Lou, Brandon Morales, Matt Chim to pick him up. Well, Thunder needs this one to try to tie it. It's, it's, I mean, from what I can see, it's not like... Thunder doesn't have that go-to aggressive Carl Malkowski like, you know, guy you can just be like, okay, dude, we need some ground. We need to punch them in the face right now. Well, they don't, I mean, Morales is fast, Lou's fast, Jim's not slow, so, but yeah, they, but they, but they don't have, they don't really game plan like that. Yeah, they, they're like, we're going to make these spots, we're going to bump, 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 bump. They're, they're, particularly on this layout, their aggressive plays have been going up the center and going wide. That has been their stock and trade, and then, but they're making good moves off, off of those positions when they can stay alive. I saw a game yesterday, one of the better moves I've seen so far. This guy played the other side tower. Like, he ran through by the W and played the other uh, played the other tower. That's a kind of, holy moly, we got to deal with that next point. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet out here. Uh, looks like Mikey Lou is able to get into the snake. And shoot a boom guy. But they lose and Brandon Morales, who dies out of his spot. But they were, like you said, wow. they'd be able to shoot a guy. So now it's three on three. God, it's it was just, like, just four on four. You die and I die. Come on, man. Just, just survive one time. It's like oh. you are talking about earlier. Somebody is peppering. Trying to get this bounce shot in the snake here. And if you can't see it from home, they're just trying to bounce them all around in these snakes. Lots of bounce shots out there. Mikey Lou's really got to tuck in. Is so that that's bounce coming shot. from the W. Yes, it's coming from the mini wall bumper. It is coming off there harder than it's coming out of a gun. We got the heat, and it is. If you can't see it on TV, and which is great, I watched from the booth over there. Fantastic picture going on over there. I sometimes just watched the TV, to be honest. Here we go. Oh, he didn't make it, but he got his guy by. Yeah, so the move was made by Chim over there on the D side, but he oh. wasn't able to get that shot. And then the Mikey center Lou, player come for... come on. Yeah, so Mikey Lou, I don't think he knew. He definitely didn't know that there was a guy in the wall because he wouldn't have crawled through that lane as high as he did. There Man, still is one player left alive, he though. He had to know that guy was in the wall. That's how well, close I, that was I shooting know, at him? You would, yeah, you would think, but like why would he have gone up that high? I think why he made a mistake. I think he just made a mental yeah, error. Yeah, it could be that, too. Because he had to know well, that Well, look, look at this. Chamber gets shot by Corey Field. So this is, alive. this is the Corey Field we always talk about, man. You want Corey Field as your guy in a low-body situation. Uh -huh. Oh, but then he catches and one. And game time's so. going to happen here. Boom. Oh, it was a one-on-one, -on -one, it looked should like. Hit this, hit this button with a second. I don't know what he's doing. Just, just yeah. And Not enough so time for anything to happen. Boom is going to win their second game of the day. Boom taking down Thunder. And Boom taking down Dynasty, so this, is, on Boom, the table this is Boom's coming out party right here, man. Yeah, they need to go roll some dice, play some blackjack. Uh, the captain of Boom is staying in our hotel. Don't worry, he's doing that. <laughs> every Chris, time I Chris walk, Jansen? Chris Jansen, every time I walk by, he's in the casino. I'm like, dude, I'm walking through, going to the restaurant, coming to the bathroom, he's at the craps table. Yeah, he's over there. Come on, shooter. They had a guy, they were telling a story, won 250 grand at some casino like a couple weeks ago. He was like, after taxes, he only got 100, and I'm like, oh, cry me a river. <laughs> Oh, you're the guy that's going to win a bunch of money and, and complain about having to pay the Damn tax, tax man. Yeah. You put five bucks down. Well, let's listen into the pits here and frustrated Seattle Thunder. Yeah. So what's the times to do with the time situation on this Dynasty game? Because that one's out of time. 
Well, there were much longer points there, though. I want to say there's maybe three and a half or four minutes left. So that's, yeah, that's that's a different concept we're talking about, right? Two aggressive teams playing. 144 left. That's but a different, still, different a 144 is zero. I mean, you're talking about two different game plans. Two teams are playing pretty aggressive. You know, points are shorter, where the boom and the thunder game was more slowed down, kind of stalled. And it's... And yes. now you're running out of time. And that's the situation you get into with that kind of slower game plan. And where you're looking at the match stats. So Ryan, lots of confirmed kills for him in this one. Eight confirmed. And then no surprise there with A-Rod and how he's been playing. Also, Smotrov, five confirmed. And Yoshi Brandon Short at the tail end of those leaders. I got that if anybody did you saw get that. that yeah, I got that right there in my hand. Oh, man, you still got that. You did get it. You still yeah. got the reflexes, Davey. Yeah, just, just can't your knees just can't and move around. elbows and, and shoulders don't work like they used to. <laughs> Who's do? Hey, look at that pinky. Show everybody your pinky. That's what that's what uh, how many, that's that's what a lifetime of pro paintball does. I just went to a doctor because I'm getting old, and I was like, I should probably have this looked at now. He went, Wow, I've never seen anything like that before. It, the bone has regrown itself. Really? Mm -hmm. It regrew a bone. It doesn't move because there's bone on bone. Uh, so get a cut big, off. Huge, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> Your pinkies are really important. Look at Tyler Harmon, the Mantis. Oh, I know. I broke my hand once, too, so I feel you. So, so here we go. That's he, a good trade-off for Dynasty. They just took their best player out of there. They, yeah, they, or the guy that's playing the best oh, yeah, right yeah. now. So it's four on. It's four to four. It's four on four with a minute and 30 seconds left to go here in this close match. And this is a huge This is a huge game. This is implications for Sunday right now. Dynasty already lost to Boom, and Red Legion lost yesterday to San Antonio X-Factor. And, and we're going to go under a minute here. Here we go. This is going to be 60 seconds. Here. A Russian guy coming off, or is that still the center guy coming off? Tyler ran off, so he, he did his job. He was purposeful. You know when you're pumped when you're like, I got my dude. They sent him out there to get him off that, Samantra off the field. He did, he did his job. So He's now, one of those guys six foot, like you said. We're, we're going to, this is going to be open. There's, there's less than a minute left to go. And though I think Legion does have a one body advantage, I think there's only three players left alive for Dynasty. I don't, I don't see Russians in a position to make a move to try to close this out with the time they have remaining. It's so I think we're going to go to overtime. It's like who gets clipped right now is who decides it. it. If, somebody, if somebody on Dynasty gets clipped, then yes, the Russians can absolutely score this point. If somebody on the Russians clips, Ooh. it just further is going to secure the fact that we're going to overtime. See, Marcelo, that's kind of good play there. He's like, I, I don't care. I'm good enough. We're going to go out there and try and win this game. Get Ryan down this. Oh, the Russian guy just died. Down the Doritos. 20 yeah. seconds. This is going to be a long run. Yeah, just like I said, I, if a guy Russians from the Russians bad. died because it was three on four, now it's three on three. Uh, Dynasty's trying. Ryan's I mean, going to work. They're they're trying to they're trying to push into these guns. They're not content to just rest on their heels here and let this go to overtime. But they're just they don't Five. have enough time. Nah, and you're gonna, you're against two guys that are never gonna. I mean, Malloy is a foot tall. Well, and Ryan just got picked off too. So, but hey, they definitely Marcelo and Ryan were hopscotching each other down on that D side of the field. Oh man, looks like Brandon was having gun issues right there too. What a time! You know it's bad when you take your loader off right away. Like. Worst point ever. Yeah, in that particular situation. So let's listen in here. We're going to be heading to overtime. Huge, huge game right here. The team that wins this game puts themselves in a great position to move on. The team that lose, that might be it for them. So both Dynasty and the Russians could potentially get eliminated here. Looking into that pit, and you know, no one's here freaking out. No one in this, these two teams, no one's freaking out. They were in a similar situation in their last game, uh, even though they did lose that one. But uh, yeah, Dynasty's been here before. As you're looking at your prizes there for Vegas, make sure you get your cards in, get your lineups in on my fan wagon. Ooh, cash. Yeah, VIP on the fan wagon. It's uh, $1,000 for first place. Vanquish for second. And the season prize is a Lux Ice. So lots of good prizes there. And even for the free ones, too. We have EBS goggle system. New Empire goggle system. So Marcelo's begging well, for some paint. Here comes, you know, and the Russians out there, cool, calm, collective. That's what they've always been, right, Matty? Oh, the, like, my God. I remember they're just when, machines. I remember when we played them in World Cup one year, and somebody told me what happened in their pit. Uh, Nikki gets a mate right on excessive. We're playing him in, the, I think it was in the finals or semifinals to go to the finals. And we get a five minute major penalty. And uh, they're five minutes back then. And somebody in their pit said that the Russian coach, calm and collected, turned around to everyone and just said, they had to finish. Like, just at everyone's <laughs> Straight super Straight out calm. of Rocky. <laughs> yeah. I was at, uh, going back to the point of those guys all being friends and how they're kind of a different. I was uh, lucky enough to be in Europe one time on an Eastern Bloc tournament. And they were all on different teams. Molloy, it was Mishka back then, and Fedorov. 
they all had breakfast together. They just went, Americans were like, he left. Screw that guy. I'm not talking to him for at least six months. <laughs> yeah. We're not friends at all for at least four months. But these guys were like, oh, and I remember Malloy saying, you get paid more? Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. I'm like, that's, they don't, they, this is a business. Dis business decisions to them. Hey, dollar bills go a long way in Russia. Yeah. Here we go. So now we're talking back to that, you know, split deck and you're five. Well, this is where you're like, I don't care if I'm offending you. You're not in there. I don't care if you're Ryan Greenspan. I don't care if you're... Well, and interesting also, too, because Rusty's not here. He just had another kid. So his, his brother, Gator's trying to help out coaching. But Told him three was too many. Not to do it. <laughs> Doesn't listen. <laughs> and you would know if yeah. you three girls yourself. Yep. Happy birthday to Skylar today. Oh, and oh, yeah, that's your right. fiance's birthday is today, is yeah, it? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. Yep. Maddie's getting married, people. Your pan is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fed full up the Lost lost Boy crew. Yeah. About time. <laughs> <laughs> you, as a former member of the Lost Boys yourself, yeah. now with three daughters. Now I'm the dead guy. Three daughters. <laughs> so. So you know, clutch, clutch moment right here, Davey. You played in a lot of these. What do you think's running through the minds of the boys on Dynasty and the boys on the Russians right now? Uh, I'd be like, hope Ryan shoots a lot of people if I was out there. Um, <laughs> second of all, I would be a little bit mindset-wise is like, how much confidence does Gator have? Nothing against Gator. He's never been here with them. How much confidence in this situation when they tell him something? He's like, mm, shine that. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. But again, talking to Gator, he's just guiding them. Like, hey man, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, okay. and and we saw in the pits when they were having conversations that that's they were asking Gator for input, but not demanding that he give them the play. And then they, you know, and that's always a tough situation because that's that proverbial cooks they, in the kitchen. They situation. just need a warden in the jail. He's the warden. They don't. They're running it. Hey, Dynasty is notoriously the hardest team to coach. Ooh. But here we go. Off the break, we'll see who can stay alive. Big Russians. move. They send. The Russians got wide right the here. The Russians got wide, but Dynasty got some penetration up the field as they have Alex Rodriguez. And, and look, first, to, first to drop is Malloy. Alexander Burtnikov, that's a huge kill for Dynasty. Just four bodies left alive for the Russians now. Five for Dynasty. See if they can stay the alive Russian, in their spots. Russians are in the Dorito now. See, this is the greatest thing about this level. Yeah, you died. Oh, well, we're moving on. No, no spilled milk here. Well, well, he's one of our best players. He died. So the Russians were able to get a body into D1. Dynasty does have a, a player. They have Tyler Harmon in D1 to mirror that move. So Dynasty, absolutely better situation for them here as they were able to take uh, the best player off of Moscow in Alexander Burtnikov. And I think that's, uh, what's that, Axel? Or is that, what's his name? Axel? Uh, yeah, Axel got in is in the he's back He's got to be real smart here because A-Rod is now... He's creeping over to that other side. What's he? A Rod thinks he's gonna get run around on. He thinks yeah, he's a, a Rod's looking like he wants to run through, man. You can see by the he's getting a little antsy in his oh, body but they language got in here. and lost the guy, but got in. They get they up now. It's three on five, and Dynasty's able to get out wide here, so it's not looking good. Oh, Shoots a -Rod, but though. A Rod gets just diced up. Nice move by but Dynasty that fills. Chambon. Oh, so Chambon, one of the French mercenaries here, earning his money. Gets into Snake 1 and gets a huge kill on A-Rod. I thought I saw a Dynasty guy going to Dorito 3 down there. Alex goes inside, which I don't really know about now because short... In, well, he's in D2. D2, okay. See on your screen. There's the four players left alive for Dynasty on your screen right now. Brandon Short able to make it out wide here. And Tyler Harmon was able to get into D2, but it's four on three. And that three was minutes a left. huge kill by Chambon. Yeah, and look at Ryan. He's content with just, I'm just going to stay here and make sure this guy doesn't come down the Doritos on us. But he backed up. I don't know if Ryan saw the Drio guy for the Russians back up. This is where that bounce shot. This is, Maddie, where you just don't, please don't let a ball bounce and hit me in the goggles right now. I've got. Well, that's when you, I'm, I'm hoping I'm Davey Williamson, <laughs> one of the luckiest paintball players I've ever seen play the game. Rather be lucky than good. <laughs> Any day. Any day. Man, I saw you take some magical bouncers sometimes and just ended up winning the tournament. I'm like, man, Davey's so lucky. It's all the fat. <laughs> So, so. Chambon improves his position, now gets into, th into Snake 2. I think to quote you, Matty, the, I think Brandon Short has the ball here. I think it's easy what he wants to do. He's just got to put that tower guy yeah, in. Yeah, he can see him processing in his head. Well, Ryan can, maybe Ryan can come underneath him here and get in this. He gets in this Snake and they got problems. Because he can just trade out. Now it's just a attrition. I just need, you have three, we have four. I just need to keep trading out, guys. Comes down to the next kill. Who's going to get the next kill? If Dynasty gets a kill, as yeah, a, this, refer a referee's uh, looking at Chambon. And he's going to come out. That's a huge kill for San Diego Dynasty and Blake Yarber jumping up and down. It's not over yet. Still two players left alive, but a big advantage for San Diego Dynasty. They have Tyler Harmon in D2. Four players left alive. Marcelo Margot right behind him. Ryan Greenspan here in the stand-up temple. 
and also Brandon Short. Two minutes left here in this game, and uh, look at look at the Russians going to get wide. They're going to hold these corners, and that's Axel. So Axel had, had dipped in from so the back. So now you try to just reload, right? right? Back out. Maddie is a former. This is what you do. You just get there and cross up and count this clock down. Hey man, this was my specialty. Let's reset. We pulled this off a bunch. Yeah, yeah. let's reset. I'm gonna. I'm. Th but this is when you. You really. This is when you earn your money, man. If you're if you're a veteran on a team in the in the, in the finals here. I'm sorry, not in the finals, but in the overtime point. Yeah. Is if somehow some way Axel can pull this off, he'd be a hero to the Russians. Well, these guys, really, their goal right now for them is to not let, just to hold. Hold, and the time is your friend here. Countdown. Clip maybe a, clip a Dynasty guy here. Someone, like, maybe... I wouldn't worry so much about the snake in this situation. I wouldn't like Marcelo on his feet in that Dorito. I'd rather clip him. Well, Ryan... As I say that, Ryan is probably the best player on the field right now, so I'd probably want to shoot him. Absolutely. Yeah, if you can. He's kind of hard to shoot. But so now he's wrapping or he's crawling around here in the snake and he's trying to get a shot on that back corner bunker. The back corner bunker probably knows where he is and knows that's where he's going to come up next. Now he puts him in. Ryan's going to use his gun to try to get across. Tyler, is that Tyler still in there? Tyler's now in the exit. So now, as Dynasty, you can't give this up. You have to win this point. You have all the pressure. You can't go reload right now. You'll lose the next so, one. Well, I guarantee Ty it. Tyler's looking for a place to cross, but he's trying to check off oh, there like we there's go. more it's bodies over. alive. And there goes Axel, who gets shot cross field. Might have been Brandon Short. And, Ryan. and then yeah. Ryan gets that last kill, and that is going to do it. A triumphant San Diego <laughs> Dynasty gets their third win, and that should do it for San Diego Dynasty to put them on to Sunday. But it couldn't have been more of a tense situation here as they fought into this great overtime game. point. Yeah, that was a great, great game. game. Hey, you think you think good one to call. I'll come for the good games. If you want another good game, call me over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome anytime you want to come. I like that, uh, you know, we just saw two high-level pro teams. No one's sweating. No one's screaming and yelling. Game's over. You know, there's no there's frustration, but it's like we played good and they played good. You know, you're mad you lost a bit if you're Russians, but you're like, yeah, dude. If you're the dy if you're dynasty, it's say Russians. They played they played yeah, they played baby. great, but we played better. I think a little bit more. Uh, if I'm gonna critique the Russian guy there, a little bit more knowledge and experience would have helped him out. Like, hey man, we're down bodies. The clock's my friend. Why am I popping up and over out this thing? That kill is not as important as the minute I can grind. He could have came back, sat back here, talked to the two corner guys, and been like, hey man. T clock. Let's just get it down, and that's years of experience of just being like, dude, let's let's reload. Yeah, no, that that is a good point. But Said he wanted, he really wanted to shoot Tyler and got shot. Yeah, and you can see a, a happy Blake Yarber and a beautiful work by Tyler Harmon there, putting him in in an incredibly clutch situation. And the grandfather of them all, Alex. <laughs> just yep, good work, guys. Good work. Good. <laughs> nice job, boys. High five. Get slap hands. Slap hands. So that is going to do it here for this set, but don't go anywhere. Coming at you next, San Antonio X-Factor is going to be taking on AC Dallas, a little Texas battle for you, and then a huge game for the LA Ironmen as they're going to be taking on PC Katana. That is not a game the Ironmen want to drop. So stick with us here on GoSports.com. I'm Maddie Marshall with Davey Williamson. We'll be back. See you. Sunday morning paper.